Hey guys, welcome to another brand new video on Roblox Shindo Life. This video is actually a continuation of my previous video. So if you haven't watched that already, make sure to do so. I have showcased a lot of bloodlines in that video as well. If you have already watched that video, then you are good to go. Let's get started, shall we? But wait, before we get started with the showcase, let me show you this week's codes. These codes will give you free spins to spend on getting better bloodlines and stuff. If you want to know how to get better bloodlines, or if you want to know how to get tailed beasts easily, or literally anything related to Shindo life, I have videos on every topic on my channel. By the way, make sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Make sure to redeem these codes as soon as possible. These codes get expired very fast. If you are watching this video late, then this may be the reason why they aren't working for you. Well, don't worry. You can have a look at my video on how to get a lot of spins in Shindo life. Also, since you are here, why not join my Roblox group? Oh and wait, make sure to join my Discord server as well if you need friends to play with or hunt tailed beasts together. We have about 7000 plus members. Links for both my Roblox group as well as my Discord server will be in the description of this video. Now let's move on to the main topic of this video, showcasing bloodlines. Continuing my all bloodlines showcase video, let me equip Bunkai Akuma, Karata, and Agerite Wood. If you want to see the previous bloodlines, make sure to check out the first part of this video on my channel. So let's check out Bunkai Akuma first. Bunkai Akuma is one of the five Akuma bloodlines in Shindo life. It is an I bloodline with a rarity of 1 100th. Bankai Akuma's moveset revolves around damage, stuns, and dodging, making it ideal for PvP. Bunkai Akuma, like any other Akuma, has Susano modes as well. It's a really good bloodline and one of the most used bloodlines for PvP. I really like this bloodline and recommend using it. Next up we got Karata, or the Bloodline Witch, the Choji Akamichi clan had in the Naruto anime. Karata is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 170th. Karata's moveset revolves around enlarging the user, that is, increase in size, to deal damage to a greater area, at the cost of expanding their hitbox and slowing them, making them an easier target. Although it is not as good as some other bloodlines out there, but I myself find it really fun to use, and the butterfly mode looks really cool and there is the mode in which you become a giant as well. Overall, a fun to use bloodline. Do give this a try if you are bored of using the same old overpowered bloodlines and stuff. The next bloodline is the Agerite Wood or Riken Shizen. Riken Shizen is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 1 150th. Riken Shizen's move set revolves around stunning and dealing damage multiple times to enemies through red wood. Due to its similarities, yet higher damage compared to Shizen or Normal Wood, Riken Shizen can be considered a direct upgrade to the Normal Wood bloodline. Now let me tell you that this is one of the best clan bloodlines out there, and many pro players use this one while fighting multiple enemies at once or while doing PvP. This bloodline comes with a mode as well. The mode abilities and skills are really up. The mode's ultimate move lets the user create a gigantic red wooden statue with many hands before sending several of these hands in the direction of the cursor. Upon impact, the hands explode, dealing massive damage. And the best part, this move doesn't cost any chi. Next up, we have the Bone Bloodline Kakatsu, Senko, and Keijin. So, let's start off with the Bone Bloodline Kakatsu. Kakatsu is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 135th. Kakatsu's moveset consists of ranged attacks, area of effect attacks, and stunning, making it ideal for PvP. This is one of the common bloodlines you can get and actually usable in PvP combat. Apart from that, it has a mode as well, so you can get stats boosts. It has large area damage attacks as well, so damaging multiple enemies at once is possible. You can try out this bloodline, it is a fun to use bloodline. But there are other bloodlines that are better than this. So if you got enough spins, you can try for other ones instead of this one. The next bloodline we got is Senko. Now, Senko has two of its powerful variations, namely, the Azim Senko and Dio Senko. 
So basically you are better off getting the stronger bloodlines, as Im Senko or Dio Senko, rather than this one. Senko is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 145th. Senko's moveset revolves around teleportation, fast movements, and stunning. It has a mode, so you will get some stat boosts. This bloodline is best used, along with other bloodlines, in combos and stuff, very usable in PvP to avoid the opponent's attacks. Overall an okayish bloodline, but try to get its more powerful variations, as Im Senko or Dio Senko. I will show both of these later on. Next up, we have the Kaijin or Ash bloodline. It's the bloodline the third Hakage has in the Naruto anime. Kaijin is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 145th. Kajin's move set revolves around dealing exploding damage through the use of ash. It has a mode as well. I really like its mode, where the user breathes out smoke and a red staff with golden shaft ends appears. You can summon an ape using the mode's abilities. Again, a fun to use bloodline, but not the best one. If you want to do PvP and stuff, go for other bloodlines. But if you are looking for some fun and pretty bored of using overpowered bloodlines, then this is for you. This bloodline is okayish for damage. It's not that bad, but not that good. A pretty average bloodline in its usability. Now, it's time for Dio Senko. You have probably seen many people using this bloodline. It's one of the best and the most used bloodlines in Shindo life. Dio Senko is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 1 150th. Dio Senko's moveset revolves around teleportation, fast movements, and stunning. It has two variations, as Im Senko and Senko. I already showed you Senko. Dio Senko is much, much better than the normal Senko in its damage and abilities and boosts. Dio Senko is really rare to get. But it's worth getting. It's very usable in PvP as well as war mode to stop multiple enemies. Many overpowered combos can be created using Dio Senko and other bloodlines. So, if you have this bloodline, try it out. You will really like it. You can also check out its Azim Senko variation, which in my personal opinion is a bit better than Dio Senko. Anyways, Dio Senko is one of the best bloodlines, period. And that's it for the part 2 of the All Bloodlines Showcase video series. In this episode, we had some really cool and overpowered bloodlines, like Riken Shizen, as well as Dio Senko. Let me know what do you think about them. Also, comment down your most favorite bloodlines and the ones you wish to get. Let's aim for more than 500 likes for part 3. I have a lot of other bloodlines to showcase, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, check out my other videos. I am sure you will find something worth watching. That being said, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon in another video. Peace.